now have new evidence in a Fox 2 story about a renegade cab driver. Fox Files investigator Chris Hayes reveals the 911 call audio that puts a twist on a story from a man claiming to be a victim. The 911 call you are about to hear appears to put a new light on what happened between a cabbie and his passenger in October. I'm from the house. That's Luke Hassler yelling outside of a cab driven by Mahad Abdi, who's calling 911. He's attacking me. He, he breaks my phone and everything. Prosecutors charged Hassler in October for property damage and assault. According to the newest court records, the St. Louis Circuit Attorney dismissed the case in April, saying the defendant has successfully completed the misdemeanor redirect program. The record shows that consisted of $149 Hassler paid for Abdi's broken cell phone and $500 to an Illinois hospital for treating Abdi. Why did you follow me for? I had confronted Abdi over this same incident in February because he was not supposed to be driving a cab in the first place. St. Louis's cab commission called him an unlicensed renegade with a criminal record. Faison Syed with the Missouri chapter for the Council on American Islamic Relations said it's Abdi's passenger who was in the wrong. The man was very severely intoxicated. He said Abdi's history does not mean he cannot be a victim. Some people, they make bad choices in life. And the reality is that those individuals should not be defined by their bad choices or their criminal history. Mr. Abdi is a man who made bad choices in the past and he went to jail, he served his time, he paid his dues, and now he's trying to become a better member of society. Sayed said the 911 call would convince people Abdi was the victim that day, but he couldn't get a copy. Then Fox 2 pressed for it and helped Sayed and Abdi obtain it. The 911 call is probably the most important factor in this case. If it was true that the, that, the, that the passenger was the victim, he would have called 911. But instead, Mr. Abdi called 911. Abdi didn't want to talk about it anymore, but he came with Syed to this interview, along with another man who grew up in the same Ethiopian village. He's a hardworking man right now, and you know, that's all we wanted to get a chance in life. Not to destroy our reputation at this moment, but to better ourselves. Abdurrahman Kasim said his friend feels vindicated by the 911 recording where you can hear what his passenger was like. He didn't know where he was going, and Mr. Abdi from the beginning was flagged down so he can help him to get home. Hassler responded with this statement through his attorney. Mr. Hassler maintains that he was attacked by Mr. Abdi. Mr. Hassler did not plead guilty to anything. He did not take responsibility for the event. He did not pay court costs or receive probation. He offered to pay Mr. Abdi's medical and phone repair bill, and the case was dismissed. Syed says Abdi is no longer driving a cab illegally. He says he's confirmed Abdi is now working properly for a medical transportation company, usually delivering equipment. For the Fox Files, I'm Chris Hayes.